In mathematics and computing, the Levenberg-Marquardt algorithm, also known as the damped least squares method, is used to solve nonlinear least squares problems. These minimization problems arise especially in least squares curve fitting. The LMA is used in many software applications for solving generic curve fitting problems. However, as for many fitting algorithms, the LMA finds only a local minimum, which is not necessarily the global minimum. The LMA interpolates between the Gauss-Newton algorithm and the method of gradient descent. The LMA is more robust than the GNA, which means that in many cases it finds a solution even if it starts very far off the final minimum. For well-behaved functions and reasonable starting parameters, the LMA tends to be a bit slower than the GNA. LMA can also be viewed as Gauss-Newton using a trust region approach. The algorithm was first published in 1944 by Kenneth Levenberg while working at the Frankfurt Army Arsenal. It was rediscovered in 1963 by Donald Marquardt, who worked as a statistician at DuPont and independently by Gerard, Wynn and Morrison. The problem the primary application of the levenberg marquardt algorithm is in the least squares curve fitting problem. Given a set of M empirical datum pairs of independent and dependent variables, optimize the parameters beta of the model curve F so that the sum of the squares of the deviations becomes minimal. The solution like other numeric minimization algorithms, the levenberg marquardt algorithm is an iterative procedure. To start a minimization, the user has to provide an initial guess for the parameter vector. In cases with only one minimum, an uninformed standard guess like beta t equals will work fine. In cases with multiple minima, the algorithm converges to the global minimum only if the initial guess is already somewhat close to the final solution. In each iteration step, the parameter vector, beta, is replaced by a new estimate, beta plus delta. To determine delta, the functions are approximated by their linearizations where is the gradient of f with respect to beta. At the minimum of the sum of squares, the gradient of with respect to delta will be zero. The above first order approximation of gives, or in vector notation, Taking the derivative with respect to delta and setting the result to zero gives, where is the Jacobian matrix whose ith row equals, and where are the vectors with ith component n, respectively. This is a set of linear equations which can be solved for delta. Levenberg's contribution is to replace this equation by damped version, where i is the identity matrix, giving as the increment delta to the estimated parameter vector. The damping factor, lambda, is adjusted at each iteration. If reduction of s is rapid, a smaller value can be used, bringing the algorithm closer to the Gauss-Newton algorithm. Whereas if an iteration gives insufficient reduction in the residual, lambda can be increased, giving a step closer to the gradient descent direction. Note that the gradient of s with respect to delta equals Therefore, for large values of lambda, the step will be taken approximately in the direction of the gradient. If either the length of the calculated step, delta, or the reduction of sum of squares from the latest parameter vector, beta plus delta, fall below predefined limits, iteration stops and the last parameter vector, beta, is considered to be the solution. Levenberg's algorithm has the disadvantage that if the value of damping factor, lambda, is large, inverting JTJ plus lambda i is not used at all. Marquardt provided the insight that we can scale each component of the gradient according to the curvature so that there is larger movement along the directions where the gradient is smaller. This avoids slow convergence in the direction of small gradient. Therefore, Marquardt replaced the identity matrix I with the diagonal matrix consisting of the diagonal elements of JTJ, resulting in the levenberg marquardt algorithm. A similar damping factor appears in Tikhono regularization, which is used to solve linear ill-posed problems, as well as in ridge regression, an estimation technique in statistics.
choice of damping parameter various more or less heuristic arguments have been put forward for the best choice for the damping parameter lambda. Theoretical arguments exist showing why some of these choices guaranteed local convergence of the algorithm, however these choices can make the global convergence of the algorithm suffer from the undesirable properties of steepest descent. In particular very slow convergence close to the optimum. The absolute values of any choice depends on how well scaled the initial problem is. Marquardt recommended starting with a value lambda 0 and a factor nu greater than 1. Initially setting lambda equals lambda 0 and computing the residual sum of squares s after one step from the starting point with the damping factor of lambda equals lambda 0 in. Secondly with lambda 0, nu. If both of these are worse than the initial point, then the damping is increased by successive multiplication by nu until a better point is found with a new damping factor of lambda 0 nu k for some k. If use of the damping factor lambda nu results in a reduction in squared residual then this is taken as the new value of lambda and the process continues if using lambda nu resulted in a worse residual. But using lambda resulted in a better residual, then lambda is left unchanged and the new optimum is taken as the value obtained with lambda as damping factor. Example. In this example we try to fit the function using the levenberg marquardt algorithm implemented in new octave as the Lee's QR function. The three graphs Fig 1, 2, 3 show progressively better fitting for the parameters R equals 100, B equals 102 used in the initial curve. Only when the parameters in Fig 3 are chosen closest to the original are the curves fitting exactly. This equation is an example of very sensitive initial conditions for the levenberg marquardt algorithm. One reason for this sensitivity is the existence of multiple minima. The function has minima at parameter value and additional reading. George J. Moray and Daniel C. Sorensen. Computing a trust region step. Siam J. Sci. Stat. Compute. 553 to 572. Philip E. Gill and Walter Murray. Algorithms for the solution of the nonlinear least squares problem. Siam Journal on Numerical Analysis 15, 977 to 992. DOI 10.1137 0715063. Jose Puyol, The Solution of Nonlinear Inverse Problems and the Levenberg Marquardt Method, Geophysics 72, W1W16, DOI 10.1190, Nosadal, George, Wright, Stephen J., Numerical Optimization, 2nd Edition, Springer, ISBN 0-387-30303-0.